Hey, what is up, guys? Welcome back to another channel update. Um, I don't know. I always take these like a lot more serious than when I'm playing video games. I feel like these things that I say to say to you guys, like especially in these videos, are are like serious, like uh, act actually serious. Um, <laughs> um, I like to talk about like just real life stuff. It's really different from when I'm talking about video games. You know, last last video I made a just like a 30 minute motivational talk um, you know telling you guys my story and also about um, just some of the experiences and stuff and I I wanted to use this video to just give you guys a heads up of like you know what I'm doing recently because I really haven't really said much about um, you know actually giving you guys updates about my what I'm doing um, in my life and also about um, this channel and just I think just the 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 whole brand of like the you know fantasy um, in general I I've been spending a lot of time working on a second YouTube channel um, it's probably not news at this point but what what hasn't what I haven't told you guys is what what um, the channel is actually about um, I'm not gonna say what it's about, but I'll, I'll, I'll like the the hint I gave you guys is still the same hint as before. It's about anime, manga, weeaboo stuff, slash, um, what, what, but it's also not safe for work. All right, um, that's like you guys will have to make some guesses. Um, but even when I was when I was doing that, I, I actually the the thing. Um, that uh, I've been spending the majority of my time doing is actually I've been working on making a a moving 2D model, um, you know, as the like the avatar or the the, the mascot or, or whatever for for my my second channel. Um, I actually have it open right now. I've been working on this like for for hours and hours and hours. Um, it's this is just some a little a little something I drew. Um, you know, a little character I designed. She's uh, she's actually a succubus. I yeah, this is uh, this is this is this is all my fetish. All right, just um, just uh, just just bear with it. But you, you can, as you can see, her her eyes can move. Like it's gonna be like a moving 2D model. Um, and her her mouth can go from like a frowning face to a smiling face, and it can open and close. Um, even the frowning face can open and close. You know, and um, you know her her eyes can blink and stuff like that. And I've just been working on on drawing this for the past uh, like two weeks or so. It's just I had to draw each part and each every single expression and stuff like that. Um, obviously, if you're a really good artist, then you probably draw everything in one day. But I am not a good artist. I'm just I I don't think I'm necessarily like bad at drawing. I like I can still. You know, I think the picture that I drew was pretty good. Like the 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 model I drew was pretty good, um, but it just takes me so much time to draw because I'm I'm just out of practice. I, I think that's that's a better way to describe it. I'm not a practiced artist, um, so it definitely just takes me a long time to be able to draw something simple. Um, and yeah, I, I think I'm definitely improved. Like every single picture that I drew, I definitely do improve a little bit. And I'm s fortunately I'm still good enough to be able to do this. Like it doesn't look like complete shit when I draw it. Um, so yeah, that's that's uh that's just what I've you know actually been working on. Um, and it's probably gonna take a few more days. Probably. Um, I'm not sure exactly because I'm also learning how to use Live 2D at the same time. So I'm I'm learning how to do something completely new. Um, I'm done with the drawing part of it, but I I have to go through um, each step, you know, and learn learn everything. And I'm kind of halfway through it, so maybe not even halfway, like a third through it, a third of the way through it. So maybe I'll be finished in um, you know three days or so, um, and then I have to make a lot of channel like design like the channel art the the uh, you know make an intro and stuff like that um, and yeah that's definitely gonna take still take quite a long time and um, 
what I wanted to say is I I I know I haven't been uploading as as uh, as frequently recently or as as consistently recently, but it's only temporary. Um, everything's going to be back on track very very soon once I finished up finish up um, everything I need to do and get my second channel started and get the get the snowball rolling. Um, and I think that's pretty much it. Um, the other thing is my, my sleep has been really, really fucked up again. That's why I'm uploading at really, really weird times. Um, I, I've i been working on that like just night and day. Like from the moment I wake up and then I'm like learning how to how to do shit and from till the moment I pass out. And my sleep has been getting later and later and later every single day. And nowadays I've been sleeping at like in the afternoon like as my, my clock has gone, gone all the way around like I, I was sleeping at like uh, at 12 at night and then it went from like later than that and then it went to the morning like I started I, I would pass out in the morning and then it has gotten to the point where like I, I, I've gotten past the morning and then I'm now passing out in the afternoon um, so you know, I literally just work from the moment I, I, I get up to the moment I, I pass out. It's definitely not healthy. I probably shouldn't do that, but I I just get so uh so passionate about about like what I'm doing a lot of the times. Um I think that's where my a lot of my 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 energy my, my drive comes from. It's just my the the things that I'm I'm I I'm enthusiastic about. Um which actually brings me to my, my second topic. Um I, I kind of got this idea because there was someone on my Discord server that said that he was gonna you know quit Monster Super League for two months and he's he's uninstalling Discord bye, um, and and it kind of reminded me of a friend of mine that I, I had a while ago. Um, uh, this this friend would always go on these extremes, like he, I think he's definitely someone that struggles with his addictions a lot. Um, he like would like to play video games and. And uh, I think mainly just video games. Like he, he he gets hooked on on games a lot, and um, you know he would play, and then he would like you know skip classes, be flunking school, and then he would find out that oh shit he's about to he's about to fail, and then he would be like okay I'm gonna stop I'm gonna quit playing games, and that's it, and then like. Uh, you know, he goes back, attends school properly, his grades are like back on track again. Two months later, he's back where he was like two months before, where he's still where he's playing video games again. And then and then he like is, is like flunking school and then he, the cycle would repeat. Um kind of reminded me of that friend. Um and I feel like I'm the exact opposite of of that friend. Um I'm someone that I like I think my philosophy is just I don't really make a separation between passion and addiction. Um anything that I have a strong drive towards, I will just go for it. Um you know, just I think I'm not really addicted to anything that's like really really bad. Um I can't really say if anything is like, you know, if anything can be intrinsically bad, like if you're addicted, like if you're addicted to like, you know, smoking crack, it's probably really bad. Like there's probably a lot more downsides to benefits of you doing that. Um, might be a little bit hard to, to channel that addiction into something positive. Um, but for me, it's just like video games and stuff, you know, um, I, I can, you know, I, I really like these things. But to some people, they they can have negative negative um, consequences. But I I just feel like I am much happier instead of fighting my urges. I just um, I, I I feed my addictions and I, I channel them and, and make them and grow them into something that can benefit me. Um, and that's that's exactly what I'm doing right now. Like I I uh, I'm trying to find a way to you know turn my 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 video game addiction into into uh into a working job or some shit like that you know it's just the kind of the luxury of um you know being born in this generation like being 
being able to have the internet, have YouTube, and have the the opportunity to to, to even try this. Um, obviously, I haven't made it, so I'm a little bit too early in, in giving you advice on that. I'm just sharing with you guys my, um, you know, my 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 philosophy and my 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 way of looking at things. Um, there's no right and wrong, really. Like if you decide to if you decide to, uh, you know, completely just uh, try to avoid anything that you're addicted to, or if you're trying to, um, you know, turn your addiction into something, something that can that can benefit you. Um, but it's just, I think, I'm trying to offer an alternative. Like, I'm, I'm just saying that it's it's possible to turn your addiction into something that can benefit you. That's what I'm trying to do as well. And it's also the same thing I'm doing with my my second uh, YouTube channel. Can't tell you guys what it's about, but it's also um, it also has something to do with you know some some things that people might consider it to be an addiction um, or something negative. But but to me, I I I can turn it into something good. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. You guys might have noticed I, I've been playing this Vocaloid um, music box thing for my channel updates. I think it's pretty good. I might use this for my second channel as well. I mean, it sounds pretty nice. It does sound really, really nice. Um, I don't know. I, I think I I uh, I just wanted to to share with you guys my my happiness because I, I think I'm in a really really happy place right now like I'm I'm tired as all fuck like I feel like I'm about to freaking pass out but I'm just so so uh like so I guess so content with my my current life right now like I'm just so um I'm just working on the things that I'm I like although I'm I'm a freaking neat right now I'm 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 working I'm trying to start like a start something that that like a start start a I wouldn't say a business but like start 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 a career on on something um you know just making an attempt for that um and obviously I'm not going to be a neat forever after 2 months I'm going to be moving out moving to Canada getting a job and and uh working working at this like everybody else um but it's just for now I I I have the luxury to pursue whatever I want to pursue and it's not just wasting my time you know like with with stuff that won't have a future like I'm not just you know being a zombie playing League of Legends like you know for the whole whole uh whole uh you know 16 hours a day and stuff um I say 16 hours a day because that, that's what I used to do when I played like Dota and stuff um kind of unfortunate if I was like if it was at one generate if I was born a few years later I, I maybe I could be playing like league like you know esports and stuff I just feel like I don't have the same drive as I, I did before um, I used to be like super super addicted to just playing video games like right now it doesn't even compare to the way I was before um, my my <laughs> my philosophy before was Literally, everything I do in life is to maximize the time I spend playing video games. Like, that is everything, every single thing I do in my daily life is to maximize the time I spend playing video games. Um, and I've lived like that for like 10 years, during my teen years, all the way until I, uh, until I eventually dropped out of, uh, university, came back to Taiwan. I was still kind of like that for a while, and then, and then, um... And then I think I just grew up, you know, kind of grew out of it. Um, but yeah, it was pretty crazy. Like during my first, uh, when I first got into, got into my first college in Canada, um, I, I actually dropped out of my college in Canada, and then I came back to Taiwan to finish up um, my education in another another college here. Um, I I was there for like a year and a half. And I dropped out after three semesters because I failed uh, calculus twice. It was pretty fucked up. 
Um, but it was it was mainly my fault. I I didn't really work all that hard. I wasn't really interested um, in in doing school or anything like that. I was just like it was, I think I was really a lot less mature th mature than I was right now. I would spend 16 hours a day playing Dota. Um, if you guys don't know, it's like the game, the predecessor to like League of Legends and Dota 2. It's the custom map on Warcraft 3. Um, yeah, and I, I played for 16 hours a day. Like literally, like um, I, I wouldn't say it's average. Like I would play for at least 16 hours a day, and I would just play sometimes and play until I pass out. And I remember like um, I would uh, on Thursdays, like I don't have class on Friday. Some usually for Thursday classes I would go, but then a lot of times a lot of other classes I would skip. Uh, there's a Thursday like nighttime class I would go, and then the class actually ends really late at like 10 or something. I would get home at like 12, and I would just like on the way home I would buy like a bucket of KFC, put it on the side of my computer, and uh, we I I would just play Dota and I would play until the next like morning all the way through until the next afternoon and then I eventually pass out. I don't, I don't leave my seat. I just sit there like whenever I'm hungry I just grab a piece of chicken and I, I just eat that chicken and I would, I would just play until I pass out and then and then I, I, I would wake up you know the next uh, like in the middle of the night the next uh, on Sunday morning you know and then I, I would just keep playing until it's until until I pass out again, basically, it was really, it was really fucked up. All right, it was really, really fucked up. But um, at the time, like I, I mentioned this because I think at the time I was pretty good at Dota because I, I uh, like the, Dota doesn't have an an actual ladder, but there was like a like host boss and there was like an actual there was a unofficial ladder, um, and I was like, like it was just. They, they calculate your wins and stuff and then they put it on an elo scale or elo system and I was actually like top 50 in, in NA um, you know and it was you know I was I think it was it was pretty good um, and I, I, I was definitely really really good at, at playing Dota um, and I think if if, um, if I had the chance before like I I, I possibly like you know could have uh, you know, if if it was if if esports was like developed um, at the time when I was at the age where I was like madly addicted to to just playing games nonstop, um, I I probably could have could have played professionally, um, but I I I kind of don't have the same drive anymore. Like a lot of times, I just play for fun and stuff, um, and. And uh, yeah, it was just it's just it's just me saying that like you know even if you're madly addicted like it's possible for it to be something good um, for for you to turn it into something beneficial. Obviously, I didn't do it, you know, so you can't you can't really take me for example. But um, I just feel like I just haven't done it yet. Like maybe if this channel you know, makes it, or if my ch second channel makes it, if something, something makes it, then, um, then I'll, I'll be living proof, alright, I'll be living proof that just by being super madly addicted to something, you can, you can, uh, you can turn it into success. But anyways, um, yeah, that's, that's really all I wanted to say, so hopefully you guys, you guys, um, you guys are having an, you guys are 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 having an awesome time as well. Cause I'm I'm just really really happy doing. Like I'm I'm super tired. Right, like, you can tell from my voice and just my my face that I'm I'm like crazy exhausted. But I just wanted to say that I'm I'm really happy um, doing what I do right now. Like just not really, not um. Like having a goal and working towards it, you know, one step at a time, um, and yeah, and I think I think that's that's what that's what um, that's just happiness that uh, that you know no one can really take from you. 
So I think it comes from within. Um, you know, these these goals that you set for yourself, it comes um, it comes internally instead of externally. Like if you if you you know receive some something or if you if you like have something and and that makes you happy, then that that happiness comes from an external source. But if your happiness comes from an internal source, like your own goals, your own um, your own achievements, you know, um, then then you can basically like for the most majority of your everyday life, you know, just always be happy. Um, but yeah, I'm about to I'm about to pass out. I'm I'm actually like legit about to pass out. Um, but anyways. Um, thank you guys so much for for watching this video, and I'm definitely gonna you know keep keep up my 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 uploads right now, and um, you know once I get everything set up, I'll start uh, start up on my second channel and also um, you know be back on a better upload schedule. Also fix my damn sleep because I'm I probably should just go all the way around like I just go all the way around and then I'll I'll be sleeping at a normal time again. Um, so the plan is finish finish what I need to do within uh, within three to four days, and then by that time my sleep will be going like later and later and later until it goes all the way around until it's nighttime, and then my sleep will be normal again. Yep, I'm super super fucked up. Um, <laughs> better than having a bucket of KFC on the side of your table, you know, and and just sitting there for like. 16 hours and 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 chewing on that KFC. I've done some pretty fucked up things during that that one and one and a half years while I was in while I was in college there. Um, I the the computer lab actually you can install um, Warcraft 3 on the computers on the computer lab, and we would have like people playing on the computer lab. Um, I remember th there was this time. That I, I didn't I didn't want to go home because um, there was like we a lot the people that played Dota there like had treated the computer lab like it was it was basically our net cafe but it was only open during the day so what I did was one time I went to McDonald's and there were those like little burgers um, they're they're different everywhere I think like the one in Th I don't remember what the one in, in Canada was, but there were like little burgers that just it was like the, those little kids meal cheeseburgers. Like they're really really small, but they cost like a um, dollar fifty each. And I just bought like thirty burgers, and I, I, uh, I, 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 on my way to school, there was a McDonald's. I bought thirty burgers and took the bus to school, and I just put that burger on the side of my my. On the side of the, the, the computer lab desk, and I just started gaming. And I, whenever I got hungry, I would just eat a burger. And um, during nighttime, when the computer lab closed, like there was a laptop station, and I would just go there, get my laptop out, and I would just keep gaming until I pass out. And um, yeah, I just literally just pass out on the spot. And when I get up, I would just keep eating my burgers and just keep playing. And then I, I stayed at school for like three days straight. It was pretty fucked up. Um, <laughs> But yeah, I, I've done some really, really, really fucked up shit. Well, back in the day, um, so this, this, what I'm doing right now doesn't doesn't even compare. All right. So, um, anyways, uh, that's that's pretty much it. Um, I'm gonna probably go pass out now. So it was it was nice being able to talk to you guys. Um, although it's kind of one way, but you can definitely leave me a comment. I mean, I usually apply to all my comments. YouTube's pretty fucked up with their comment system like it's getting harder and harder to reply to shit like I, I click the notifications and then it tells me about some random person who uploaded a video and doesn't show my comments it's it's it's, it's pretty fucked um, but anyways I'll see you guys in the next video peace out